Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. As you can see, it is going to be another BBC Micro game. And I am able to find the one that I want. It's Bug Blaster. This is a centipede slash millipede clone. Shoot everything that moves to collect points. Spiders, mushrooms, scorpions, centipedes, dragonflies, and also the mushroom poisoning snail, affectionately known as Brian. Catch the wriggly, squiggly earwig and earn yourself an extra 1,000 points. The better you get, the faster the action. You initially have three lives, but gain an extra life for every 10,000 points. Alligator Software presents Bug Blaster. Copyright Steve Evans, 1983. Z is left, or Z. X is right. Asterisk is up, and question mark is down. In case you're using a American keyboard like I am, the quotation mark slash apostrophe key replaces the asterisk. And of course you use the shift button to fire. And of course you get a bonus blaster every 10,000 points. So... Now that we have that over with, let's go ahead and play this game, shall we? And we get to see the high score before we play, and apparently this game was finished on the 25th of April, 1983. Interesting. And now we start. You know what to do here. Shoot the big purple worm to get to the next level and get a bunch of points. As you do this, you'll be getting points. And you'll be getting a little closer to getting to the next stage. And if I can shoot the enemies here, that should be good. So we have other enemies here. We have the fleas that go downwards and drop mushrooms as they go. We have the spiders that go from one side of the screen to the other. I'm already at level three. We have the dragonflies that move diagonally. And there will be other enemies I will mention if I can remember them. Or if I can look at my notes and then remember them from there. And I have no idea how many levels I've gone here. I might as well go ahead and talk about the controls as I'm doing all this. Everything works pretty fine for the most part, except when you have to move and shoot at the same time. And I can't believe I got that centipede there. And if I can get the centipede there, that would be great. And I couldn't shoot that last centipede head down and I died. Brilliant. So, about the controls, as I was trying to say before I was interrupted by my own concentration... Everything works fine for the most part until you have to move and fire quickly when it counts. You can only move and fire at the same time if you're moving in one direction and then you hold shift. And I may have to start a new game to show what I'm talking about here. Like, if I'm moving when I hold the fire button down, it's alright. I can move and fire at the same time. But if I hold the fire button down first and then move, it won't let me do it. So if you want to move and fire at the same time, you have to be moving first in order to move and fire at the, at the same time to begin with.
And there's the scorpion wh who poisons the mushrooms. And makes it so that when the centipede runs into the mushrooms, it just goes straight down towards the bottom of the screen. Which is exactly where you don't want the centipede to be. And now I need to clear the mushrooms here. That way, I don't have as bad of a time. Just like in the arcade game, if you shoot the head of a centipede, you're fine. But if you shoot it anywhere in the body, you get to split that centipede in half. Or at least, where, it, where in the body you shot it at. It's also fun to make yourself a little bit of a bunker where you can get the centipede to move into and give them a path where it basically becomes easier for the centipede to run into you or at least run into where you want it to go And I'm having a okay time so far. Can't believe I hit that one head there. The enemies, most of them are from Millipede. And I think the only ones from Centipede are the Scorpions. The bees, the spiders, the dragonflies, and the mosquitoes. I forgot to mention the mosquitoes. The things that I believe drop straight down and come at you. Oh no. There we go. And I can't believe I lasted that long on one life there. I forgot what the millipedes do. And there's my extra life. I think the millip the mosquitoes just come straight down and try to attack the player. I think that's what they do. The fleas just drop straight down and bring the mushrooms down with them to create a line of mushrooms. The scorpions punish, poison the mushrooms, as I mentioned earlier. The dragonflies are the ones that move diagonally and try to go after you. And I may have a very bad time here. We shall see. Oh, managed to trap it right then and there. Awesome. And also managed to get it into a bit of a tight spot there and just shoot it down like that. And thankfully I can... Ow. I can move up and down. I can't believe I haven't been doing that the whole video. You can move up and down. It's been mentioned earlier at the very beginning of the game before we even started playing this the first time. I've just never really found a reason to do it because I've just been trying to aim for the centipede all this time. Only reason why I ever move vertically is to avoid the centipede if it ever gets to the bottom of the screen. And I managed to get a whole bunch of segments at one time there. That is amazing. Now to get some extra... Uh-oh. And I managed to get... Ah. I was focusing on the centipede too much that I managed to get hit by the spider there. That's no fun. But now I have this big old wall of mushrooms. Because I haven't been shooting enough mushrooms. And now I'm going to have to clear some out. As I'm doing this, and I have one centipede hit at the, beginning, at the bottom of the screen, I had more centipede heads showing up at the sides of the screen coming at me until I got rid of every single one of them. Just like in the arcade game. 
And I did pretty well here. So let's go ahead. Wow, I was almost there to another extra life. That was brilliant. So, yeah. We have the scorpions from Centipede. We have the bees, the spiders, the dragonflies, and the mosquitoes. Even though the bees look like fleas from Millipede. You don't have the DDT, so you don't have that to help you. And the inchworms and the ladybugs do not show up. And, of course, you have the centipedes and the poison mushrooms that are created by the scorpions. I might as well go ahead and go for one more game. Why not? I've been doing well with this so far. I doubt I'm going to reach 20,000 points. But I am having a little more fun with this than I, than I did when I first gave this game the old tryout for a day. It's alright. It's alright for the most part. You just have to remember that the controls for moving and firing simultaneously are a bit finicky. Like, you have to move first and then shoot in order to move and fire at the same time. If you shoot, shoot first and then move, you're not going to be able to do it. Also, just like in the arcade game, and virtually every other version of Centipede slash Millipede that there is, because both games share the spider. Ow. The spider does not double back. It does travel to one side. It will travel to the left if it shows up from the right. It will travel to the right if it shows up from the left. But it never doubles back. Once it goes past a certain vertical row, it will never return back to that vertical row. So to speak. It, it will never, ever go back to in the other direction for any reason. Which is good. It makes it a little easier to get away from the spiders at times. And I got greedy there, and I got hurt really, really badly doing things like that. Don't do that, unless you know you can get away with it. Welcome to 80s arcade action. And I got greedy again. I'm surprised at how much progress I made in that second game of Bug Blaster there. Almost made it to 20,000 points. I got pretty far. Um, yeah, if, you're, if you've ever played Centipede or Millipede, and you're looking for a good Centipede or Millipede, Millipede clone, Bug Blaster's alright. It's a pretty good clone. Plays very well for the most part. Didn't have any errors. The music and sound are as close to the arcade game as you're going to get with the BBC Micro. You'll have a good amount of replay value with this one if you love games like this. Trying to figure out what else I want to say about this game. Um, the only nitpick that I have with this game is, again, the firing controls. If you move first and then shoot, you can move and fire at the same time. If you shoot first and then try to move, you can't move. You're stuck in place until you let go of the shift button. So you kind of have to get used to that little quirk if you want to play this game rather effectively. Other than that, it's a pretty good centipede slash millipede clone Definitely worth putting in your BBC Micro Collection should be, you be able to find this game. And that's pretty much all I have to say about this one. I had, I liked it just a little bit when I tried it out. But now that I'm playing it again for the internet, I like it just a little bit more. I do like this. Even though I'm not exactly the best at these types of games, I do like, I do not just a 
I don't just appreciate it. I actually kind of like this one. And if I ever find any more centipede slash millipede clones in the future, I'll definitely play them. So yeah, give this one a shot. You won't be disappointed. Just remember that you have to move first and then shoot so you can move and shoot at the same time. Otherwise, you're not going anywhere. This has been Let's Play Bug Blaster for the BBC Micro. Special thanks to High Retro Game Lord 89 for bringing this game to my attention and, of course, for making all of these BBC Micro Let's Plays possible. Hopefully, I'll be back with another game. Maybe it'll be good. Maybe it'll be bad. Maybe it'll be somewhere in between. Who knows? Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care. Stay safe. Thanks for watching, and see you guys later.